Hi folks, this is Kel Kellogg. For a lot of anglers, cleaning a sturgeon can be confusing and intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. In this clip, Captain Chris Smith shows us how to clean a sturgeon quickly and efficiently. Watch, listen, and learn. A few times. So, so far he's been working on it for 3 minutes and 43 seconds. Uh, plastic bags there. That's some ice packs there. I got three more I'll just throw on top of them and they'll be fine until I get home a couple hours. Oh, okay. And I'll probably just vacuum some of it. Oh yeah, that's what Eat some of it and I heard you're not supposed to eat like till the next day. Is that true? You know what? Sturgeon is you know it, it's a firm meat fish. It's a 
have to clean it up just a little bit more, but it's pretty firm. Um, you can almost compare it to like beef. You know, you let your beef relax. And the fish will actually tender up a bit. It is better. Just don't make sure it's not in water. You don't put it in water? No. And you know what? There's some great. You soak them in salt water. So there's a little more trim it up to do, but That's fine. not much. Okay, you know, you, I mean, you can't take the, you can't put them in water right now. No, I wouldn't put them in water, no. Really? Yeah, water, especially fresh water, kind of screws up the integrity of the meat and makes it more susceptible to uh, freezer burn. But I tell you what, this is some delicious fish. Oh, that's great. Chunked up, deep fried. Oh yeah, deep fried's great. Barbecue's great too. So when I was in Alaska, we did that. We used to do the halibut nuggets, and we would take pancake batter, put garlic and paprika and pepper and stuff in the pancake batter, and then dip them in that and, and deep fry them. And it was a real thin little coating on the fish. Oh God, was that good? Really? Yeah. So. Uh, it wasn't too sweet, huh? No, it's it's not like a like a tempura where it's a real big thick right. batter over it. It's just a and it's like almost like a real tender breading on it, you know. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Yeah, I, I don't know how I'd like to thank Captain Chris for taking the time to do this demonstration. Catch us next time for the next episode of Fish Sniffer TV. This is Kel Kellogg signing off. Oh, man, that's good. That's what we have for lunch.